A little-known briefing in Brown versus the Board of Education found that students who attended segregated schools really struggled with how to reconcile the truth of segregation with the myth of the American dream. Intergroup contact in a sustained and meaningful way makes that American dream more attainable. It allows children to see the value of their peers of different races and socioeconomic statuses, and it allows them to interrogate how race and class can be assets in a democracy, and how opportunity is distributed among students from different backgrounds. TCF's research on fostering intergroup contact is designed to help educators who are committed to making sure that diverse enrollment in their school overall translates into truly integrated classrooms where students, teachers, and families have the chance to form meaningful connections across lines of difference. One of the most important steps to making sure that schools establish intergroup contact among students is to make sure that the adults can model that type of behavior. If the adult population in the school isn't diverse enough to meaningfully model intergroup contact, then the school has a responsibility to hire enough adults to make that work. It's really the backbone of our school for students to form connections. If you address the social emotional needs of students, if you have your staff go to cultural sensitivity training, you will promote a feeling of family and acceptance. Schools can also assign time and spaces for children of different racial and socioeconomic backgrounds to interact with one another. Those can be play groups, clubs or activities, or a shared homeroom that's intentionally diverse. At Harvest, we work really hard to facilitate connection among our students. Every student goes to an advisory, let's say 12 to 15 person group with one teacher. In some ways, it can feel a little bit like a group therapy session. It can also feel like an academic advising session. There are a lot of times where students share something that they're excited about. Building community amongst students and families does not happen only within the confines of the classroom, but it happens outside of the classroom as well. We offer what we call community programming, which is opportunities for families to come together and have an activity together. Sometimes we do cooking, sometimes it's art, sometimes it's music. What are the spaces where we can all access and how do we bring folks together in order to create spaces for community within the school walls. Those connections then build out into the hallway, into the classroom, and then onto the neighborhood streets. I think food brings everybody together. Potlucks are really, really popular. We also have family picnics in the summer, so our PTSO is really good in hosting some of these events. Our school has a very extensive outreach program to all families. We invite them in for a multicultural festival. All students and families bring in food and celebrate. We've also developed playing and learning squads, which is an opportunity for younger students to be placed into play groups. It's a space for kids to get together and connect with each other as human beings. Schools should also think critically about how to bring diversity into pedagogy. Are children working in diverse pairings? Are they working on projects together that challenge them in diverse groups? Are your classrooms detracted so that children of different backgrounds and ability levels are working together in the same space? If all schools were committed to providing opportunities for students to form meaningful connections across lines of difference, I think we would see a very different political reality and public discourse in our country. Having the chance to learn from, with, and alongside peers who are coming from very different backgrounds than your own gives you the chance to understand how to better communicate who you are and how to understand the different perspectives that people are bringing to issues. The idea that people can approach the same problem in different ways is kind of fundamental to understanding the world and kind of fundamental to being a successful college student, to being successful in one's career, to being a successful family member. Our students get a chance to practice that and that fundamentally will help them navigate the world and navigate the problems that they see.